You're watching the Meditube.com, India's first doctor to doctor TV. Hair transplant is a procedure increasingly sought by many to enhance or restore their appearance and beauty. Many doctors are considering to include this service into their medical practice, but are aware of only the conventional technique called FUT. This video is meant to give an overview to the newer alternative technique called FUE. The developments in the field of hair transplant and also touch upon the differences in the strip technique from the FUE technique. Dear friends, I am Dr. Tejinder Bhatti, the director of Darling Buds Hair Transplant Center, a unit of Plaza Clinic based in Chandigarh, India. It is a pleasure to speak on the Meditube.com for the CME in hair transplantation titled Advances in Techniques for Better Results and Patient Satisfaction. Hair transplant is the latest addition to the armamentarium of a plastic surgery practice. It is the commonest surgical procedure amongst the male population both in the United States of America and India. Due to the fact that 63.2% males suffer from baldness, the growth of this field is immense given that knowledge about hair transplant as a safe and effective modality has percolated down to just 2% of the population. The specialty expects a thousandfold increase in the next two years alone. In times of economic stagnation, these are encouraging figures indeed. Amongst techniques of surgical hair restoration, FUT and FUE hold their pride of place. Gone is the era that associated punch grafting with bad pluggy doll head results. Today's FUE is a refined procedure that utilizes minuscule punches which range in size from 0.65 to 0.85 millimeters to provide an undetectable natural result with high density without leaving a visible linear scar. Yes. Five principal criteria must be met to make a surgical technique scientifically acceptable. It should be simple, it should be effective, it should be minimally invasive, its results should be reproducible and lastly it should have a standard tool. FUE has become popular since it meets all the first three criteria. However, since all doctors presently are not able to reproduce acceptable results, it is in the midst of a raging controversy. To add salt to the festering FUE wound, companies with commercial interests have vitiated its scientific climate. <music> The history of development of modern day FUE is just a decade old, with most of the research having taken place in the past three years alone. Dr. William Rassman and Dr. Robert Bernstein first published an article on the Fox procedure in 2003, and others took the cue from here. Dr. Woods, Dr. James Harris, Dr. Alan Feller, Dr. Arvind Poswal, Dr. Alan Bauman, Dr. Patrick Muamba, and our center, along with that of Dr. Lars Heitman, have done considerable work using this technique and have perfected their individual methods of harvesting to perfection. The FUE under high magnification of woods, the use of motorized machine utilizing the dull punch of Jim Harris, Feller's ingenious powered extraction tool, Arvind's unique and path-breaking expanding needle concept, Patrick and Lars laboriously painstaking but perfect manual extraction method, Lorenzo's refinements in FUE, graft placement, our rapid FUE harvest and golden harvest techniques, and last but not the least, the well-known suction-assisted minimally invasive FUE technique of Alan Bauman. The efforts of these FUE surgeons has so enriched the present-day FUE technique that the method is on the threshold of being accepted as the foremost method of hair transplant today. As a well-known surgical hair restoration training center and having trained over 135 doctors in the past two years alone, we realized and projected the immense force of FUE, its wide acceptance being minimally invasive in nature and the value it brings to the field of surgical hair restoration. Most doctors we trained were willing to learn only FUE after seeing the potential of the procedure to harvest a large number of grafts in a single session. Having done FUT with pride for many years and now witnessing the gradual decline in its acceptability, it is rather heartbreaking since we at our center have seen great results with the technique. 
It was, however, our conscious decision to switch over to FUE, keeping in mind the increasing demand of the procedure in India amongst a population which is wary of surgical techniques for cosmesis. Situations where FUT still holds fort. However, we continue to offer the strip method to patients with female pattern baldness and type 6 male pattern baldness to enhance the yield from scalp hair. It has been our experience that even in this minuscule subset of patients, they would rather have grafts harvested by the FUE technique from the scalp and the body rather than live with a visible linear scar all their lives. While we do project FUE taking over the hair transplant market in the coming one year, even in the USA, which is the strongest and most resilient FUT bastion, a large tsunami wave of complications is about to hit the specialty very soon and will raise doubts in the minds of prospective clients regarding hair transplant procedures as a whole. Since the FUE market has been vitiated by commercial interests, this momentary loss of FUE reputation shall nonetheless be made up by isolated clinics around the world which practice ethical, effective and safe FUE using safe systems for their clients who have reposed trust in their practice. We project that after this fleeting moment in FUE's timeline and by the year 2016, FUT shall no longer continue to be popular. It shall be used as an adjunct to FUE like the flute procedure in our clinic presently for a small subset of clinical situations of hair loss. <music>